absolutely fabulous. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Don't ask me. All I said... <laughs> Later to my reading, there's drama from Stone Park Women's Prison, when the inmates start a campaign of violence. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, there was a slight mistake. <laughs> the these walls tomorrow is a story of Stone Park Prison, the women's prison, in which there's not only women's lib, but there's a lot of danger and a lot of bother. <laughs> and I'm quite sure that uh, when the governor, there, you can see her, she's <laughs> going to be rather cross. There's a mistake there. We're going to show you a bit of the threatened violence that happens tomorrow. And the story is quite exciting. <laughs> dinner plates for we've got dinner plates they don't match <laughs> what's a band myri a pound of saucepan <laughs> yes are you ever going to speak to me? <laughs> when a man is tired of london he's great <laughs> No, it'd be all right this time, really. <laughs> Here we go. This'll do it. This'll do it. Little Nell had her coming out dance. Well, what really changed for us, has it? No. I still love you, Adam. I want you to believe that. It's just not enough. Am I making a terrible mistake? For the second time. You're doing what you have to do, Kate. I do the same. Would you? Tell me the truth, would you? Yes, I would, Kate. <laughs> and I'd strangle that f***ing duck. Thank 
do what he likes. Do what he pleases, because I won't be here. No, no. And I'm not going to remember what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> You've been retired for four years. You said so yourself? Yeah, but the old reflex is still sharp as a colt. Ever work with horses, Cannon? <laughs> Only the $10 one, don't remind me of it. What about Hal's wife? She's gonna be needing your help now, I suppose. Yeah, I've thought about that. The more I think of Betty, the more resolved I am to get this man myself. Cannon? <laughs> Show me how to put the gun in my head. Serious? So am I. It's a solemn moment. Humbling moment when you see your true place in a cosmic scheme of things. You see, it's like you was up there in space, looking down at the world from a different planet. I get the f***ing <laughs> Seven times. Oh, f I'm sorry, I've got crap. <laughs> oh, really? I'm sorry. If it wasn't for late. Excuse me, madam, would you mind answering some questions? Excuse me, might have had a couple of words with you. Do you. If I said to you, um, there was a problem with low level ozone in this area, would you know what I was talking about? Yeah, I'm a particle physicist. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone there? Brian Burroughs, another man facing a future outside of the army. Brian, tell us about your army career, how long you've been in, what you've been doing, etc. I'm in the Air Force, actually. Brian, get it back on. <laughs> <laughs> I took, uh, I had a shampoo, a youth shampoo, and, and that one is a Herbal Life shampoo. What? Herbal Life shampoo. Horrible Life shampoo. <laughs> and I used that. Horrible Life shampoo. <laughs> He's actually got a bottle of horrible life. <laughs> oh, herbal life! I thought it was herbal. Did he say why he committed suicide? No, he was dead. Well, about six years ago, I used to fight. I fought in two of them. You fight uh, forty guys, and you fight till no one's left. You fight one at a time, and you eliminate down and. The second one I won, I won in seven minutes and 14 seconds. Five fights all by knockouts. What sort of state were you in after the first one? What state? Yeah. Illinois. <laughs> and if all that wasn't enough, I notice all the equipment that's behind you, you were telling me you also do newspapers and talking books for the deaf. Yes, uh, talking books for the blind. It's, um, <laughs> What's the problem here with the strike? I don't even know, really. I, I haven't got the foggiest. I don't even know. I don't even know, really. What is it? I don't know. What What is it? I don't know. I know somebody's striking for something. Somebody down there striking, too. I'm going to get me assigned this protest. The pro I don't know. What is it? Joanne. Uh, do you spell your name, Joanne, with an E? 
to be my mother, nobody else would dare, but listen, she's gonna wanna see you here and now. We got too much to do, she's just gonna have to wake. This is very heavy, Percival. <laughs> I didn't look around for the phone. How did I know it was here? <laughs> <laughs> I've all my ties with Clyde. You cut all my ties once, I remember. That was when you were being beastly to me about the telephone bill. Well, it was over a thousand pounds. I was trying to get that carpet from Morocco. I could have lashed it to a camel and brought it back in the QE2, Chief. I couldn't have known anybody harbour a grudge for so long. It was so embarrassing to explain that my husband had put a lock on the telephone. Well, I am no longer your telephone. <laughs> Well done. You've won yourself a badge. Thank you very much. Oh, what's in the box, John Badge? Here we go, then. What's in the box? Three questions. I can answer yes or no. After the three, you guess. If you guess it right, it's yours. Away you go. Three questions. Yeah, you put questions to me. Oh, sorry. And uh, I say yes or no. Right. Um, how old are my children? <laughs> How old are your youngest children? <laughs> and I can answer yes or no. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got, got you away. Or why, why, you OK I'm, now? Yes, I'm You're back on. OK. Uh, I've got four girls or um, four boys. <laughs> I can only say yes or no to any of these questions. Do you realise that? Yeah, uh, am I employed or not employed? No. no. Game here. Let's get on the same game because we might have some fun. You have to ask me three questions to try and get close to what's in the box. <laughs> right? So you say, is it square, is it round, or whatever. Oh, boy. And that gives you close. Now, now I, you can talk about your family if you want to, and you get close <laughs> on that, but it won't help you very much with this game. Right. So I've got to ask it square, round. Oh, what, no, whatever you like, to try and get a clue to what's in this box. Oh, right. And then if you guess it, you win it. Right. It's square? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that... <laughs> I tell you what, come on tomorrow night, we'll have a chat with the rules. <laughs> Back up to the front. You understand, Lieutenant, there's an article of war coming up, Colonel. Sir, but not another word. I'll call headquarters. Give me headquarters. <laughs> Nowadays, they use the phone the other way around. Captain's log, Motiot 51. They're with us oh. in uh, Landcock and... Uh, <laughs> in berth three of the busy port of Belfast lies the 800-ton Moray Forth, the Firth. <laughs> no. My name's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm Tom Brookshire. And I'm... <laughs> the pack broke into the win column. And uh, we actually don't have names on these players. I didn't bring that sheet with me. But <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some very fine baskets coming up. <laughs> I can't believe this. Anyway, that's number th great basket by number 33. And I hope it's going to watch this. Anyway, West Valley won up. Uh, uh, what, what did they win by, by the way? Anyway, they scored momentarily. And Gma, I want to go home. 
British Midlanders to make a high court bid to challenge the proposed takeover by British Airways of the troubled airline Dan Dare. Dan Air. <laughs> side cushion and for those of you in black and white it's just behind the blue <laughs> the hospital this week and said it's the first time in years I've been able to cross my legs <laughs> Mountain behind you, how confident are you getting to the top? Well, well uh... <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah. I've always wanted to uh, work with you, you know. Have you? Yeah. But you've never heard of it before today. I have. You're famous. You know the bit. <laughs> <laughs> And Captain Vogel sang and I welcome you back to. I'm sorry. Well, this must be the climax of the situation. <laughs> if that had meant business, it would have been through to the bone. She's playing with you. on your wings. It's not so good, Sonny. Not so good. Don't lose your head now. Remember what you've been taught. Who the hell has walked across that sky? <laughs> Tonight begins the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights. And standing by at his home, live with instant eye, is Rabbi Bradley Bleefeld of the Baltimore Hebrew Congregation with his family. And now they will light the first light of Hanukkah. Praised are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and permitted us to reach this joyous occasion. Amen. Rabbi Bleefeld, uh, this is Richard Scher. And uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. <laughs> Religious freedom. We commemorate the time over 2,000 years ago when a small group of Jews fought for their religious freedom against the Assyrians. And indeed has a special meaning this year because we of the Jewish community share in the concern of hostages being held in Iran. They too are suffering under a contemporary form. <coughs> right, but stay tuned, because we'll be talking to Andy Marriott, talking about the South African Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Grand Prix. He's got here Grand Prix. <laughs> Melissa Wilkes, who will have one of her own that age now. The setup. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, and the LWT unit have a half hour of time booked on the expensive satellite link from Sweden to London, the technical name for which is the unilateral. And during this half hour, they have to transmit an interview with the American racing driver Mario Andretti as a trailer for World of Sports presentation of the race that afternoon. So, parked in a van somewhere on the Swedish race course is the LWT director Mike Hack, 
working under instruction from a World of Sport producer called Andy, who's talking to him from London. And what Mike Hack has to do is contact the man in charge of the international coverage of the race, a Swedish television director, in another van parked somewhere else on the race course, and get him to ask the camera crew, who happen to be French, <laughs> to train their cameras on the LWT interviewer, Andrew Marriott, while he has a chat with Signor Andretti. Well, at this point, Two howevers enter the picture. The first is, because Mike Hack has no direct communication facility with the Swedish television director, he has to relay his request to the LWT assistant director, Keith, so that Keith can convey them to the French camera crew who are in communication with the Swedish television director. The second, however, however, <laughs> is that the French camera crew speak no English and no Swedish. <laughs> the Swedish television director speaks no French and no English, <laughs> while Keith, Mike Hack and Andy in London are fluent in only two languages, English and profane. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, if any of this makes any sense to you, then I am not telling it right. <laughs> the third, however, by this time, it's now 11.18, and there's only 12 minutes left on the unilateral from Sweden to London. OK, Sandra, I'll be going in about one minute. Yes, yes Mike? Mike? Yep, you're calling me? Yep, um, just Andretti, please. We don't want to see Andy in shot. OK, are they, um, are they... Yeah, the way to go, Keith. You can go in your own time, they're rolling VT. Yes, Andrew, speaking for level. Level on the radio mic. Speaking for level on the radio mic, talking to Mario Andretti in the pits here at Anderstorp. Andrew Marriott, from the pits to London, do you read? Go, for Christ's sake, Keith. I've told him that three times. Go now, please. To interview Mario Andretti. <laughs> Go, Keith! <laughs> well, the cameraman is telling us that we can't go, Mike, so I just have to hang on for a little bit. Or shall we just crack on? Crack, crack on, for Christ's sake. <laughs> We're going. Well, he's not even shooting now. <laughs> and now, there's only seven minutes left. Right. No, man, you know, regardless whether they want to or not, we must go, because we, we'll lose Andretti as well. Keith, we must try and do something. We've got a problem, I understand, and we don't really know what it is here. The, uh, yeah. the handheld cameraman will not shoot for some reason that we can't understand. Yeah, we're doing our best, love. We just can't get through to the bloody cameraman. <laughs> Mike, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but he's talking to the director who says categorically he can't go, so he won't go. Uh, we're just standing here like a lot of lemons. <laughs> well, it, it makes you wonder whether there shouldn't perhaps be a new category in those television awards that people in this industry keep handing to each other every year. Gold statuette for most fed-up director of the year. <laughs> but even as I speak, those satellite minutes are ticking away. Yeah. Mike? Yeah? Are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> Have we got an extension? No. <laughs> no, not at the moment. Hang on one. Uh, have we got an extension? Go now. I, Mike, I can't go now because there's are great big monsters going past. <laughs> Can you hear the noise? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Hack. M Mike? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> On the We've got sound and pictures at the moment, Keith. The minute we can get the two f***ers together, the better it's going to be. There's uh, fifty racing cars that's now got to go. Well, take some f***ing pictures and we'll voice over. We'll do anything, but let's get something back. No, uh, there's no point in voicing over pictures of this stuff. Well, you know, if we can get Andretti when the noise dies down, smash him, but they want something to promote. They want something for the menu, and pictures are better than f*** all. <laughs> Well, our, our bleep machine went into overdrive at that time. 
Andy in London. Are you still getting sound and pictures? Uh, I, right, the minute these bloody big cars go, we'll try again. Mike, Mike Hack. Hello. M Mike. Yes. OK, we're going to go now, eh? Go, for God's sake, go. Please go. <laughs> <laughs> well, just gentleman in the red jacket out of the way with the toe of your boot and let's do our dresses. Mike, 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 At which point they lost the satellite link. Well, I aspire another commercial break coming up on the port. Might say, um, okay. uh, Don't you wait till I get out. It's something that's occurred past year, more so, because of uh, the large volume of people that, that have been seeking assistance. Which way do I get out? <laughs> Which way do I get out? <laughs> 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 Tell us whether you think you'll be richer or poorer in 12 months' time. Well, I suppose it could be all right in one way. You know, but I, 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 my set, I can't get Channel 4 on. <laughs> or poorer economically yourself how confident are you in the economically in the future well you two get some good shows on let me put it on <laughs> <laughs> in texas san antonio with perhaps the best prospects of any major urban area in texas will you move away a little bit <laughs> sure. sorry first here's a message from our spanish-speaking guide Quanto le gusta? Besame mucho. Roughly translated, that means that this week's special highway comes from Santiago. <laughs> 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 Eighty-four-year-old Margaret Johnson still has no heat tonight. It's cold in here. It's why I'm all covered up with these two Africans. <laughs> What do you think about her getting the sack? I've never had that. Oh, that's disgusting. But I've never heard. I really know the lady. Do we know? I don't know her. She's the one who does all the announcements. But here. I've never seen her. Well, you've heard her? No, because I don't live here. You see? I don't live here. Brother. I live in Stoneley. <laughs> I must say that was all a bit embarrassing. I've certainly learned a few home truths about the Glover clan today. One club stolen from the putting green at Sillith. Two balls next. Sorry. You said you got I'm two. on the telly, woman. <laughs> <laughs> A wonderful night for something new. Just, just me you and, and you. Just me and me, and just you and you. <laughs> For something new. A wonderful night for something new. Just, Just me you and, and me. You. <laughs> possibly the shorter one when the evenings are not taken up with confirmations, when I might actually go and spend an evening in one parish and have all the members of the congregation invited, or indeed any member of the parish who liked to come, invited to a meeting when I would expose myself to them. <laughs> Don't you agree? 
sure I know what you're talking about. I'm a fairy godmother. Uh, please. Oh, sh**. <laughs> <laughs> word about the president for seven and a half years i've worked alongside him and i'm proud to have been his partner and we've had triumphs we've made some mistakes we've had some sex <laughs> wild goose wild goose to read over well done sean he's gone away yet you tell me this bloody radio's rush and the dials work backwards iron man iron man wild goose wild goose do you read over Wild Goose, Wild Goose, Iron Man, Iron Man, receiving you, strength four. Well, f me. That's amazing, isn't it? You got that up before I said my palette, palette. <laughs> How much are eggs this week at Penn Fruit and Dales? Only 49 cents a dozen for grade A. <laughs> Detective Inspector Trotter is called from the yard to find out who killed the young man. The only clue to the murderer's identity is a used and discarded hypodemic nurdle. <laughs> There may be a <laughs> The man himself, Gadamer, that he doesn't want to be identified, and even his fellow inmates at Wormwood Scrubs, those who he's speaking on behalf of, won't be told his identity. Colin Baker, for Thames News, Westminster. Soaked with cold feet and an aching heart, married several children, pissed off, really dreadfully pissed off. Colin Baker, soon after. You've had the houses to the boat, the people's born the town. I've been through it several times, I had to go to the minister's town. You've had to go to the minister's town. Yes, a moment. And there's a leaf work. Just a yes, moment. There's a leaf work in Stavan. And it's supposed to get 13 stamps. And the, the rate payers are saying that the, the, the money's going up every year. The people are born in Stavan and they get the leaf work. When they have to cross the water to keep few homes. There are three men yes. outside the town hall. Yes, sir. Yes, three men. There's only one, George Cunningham. A few hundred people around at the Liberal Exchange. You, yes. don't, you don't seem to be getting much support. Yes, the Liberal Exchange sends, sends the men across the water and board in the town, but they don't send them up to tell work. And this fact, they for two years, the people had to go up and sign on the daughter line on, on Stavan soil. Remember, that fact that's built in Stavan soil belongs to Stavan people. When you love in Stavan, you're born in Stavan. If you're baptized in Stavan, seven, you're born in Stavan. If you're not born in Stavan or baptized, you don't belong to the town. You're just a <laughs> This is purple. It's not purple. Sure it is. Isn't this purple? Red. Isn't this purple? Friends at home, is this purple? No, this is purple. Good. Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. The hooting of the barred owl is a sound that's commonly heard in one of the most mysterious and enchanting regions of the world. A water wilderness we call the land of quaking earth. Mr. Moke, I'm not sure you'd do too well in that land, particularly after you see the kind of animal that Jim Fowler has over there in the den. Now, you stay right there while I put the owl back. Okay, no fair grabbing now. Stay on my back. Here's what happened when some British space enthusiasts went to Cape Canaveral to make their own special film of a rocket launch. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, God! Boosters, no boosters, go! Okay, we're lifting.
we'll do, I think, as a matter of fact, we're going to leave the fire just as it is now. And, um, well, maybe instead of having to do this, maybe the sergeant would come back again a little bit later sometime, and he'd show us some of the other things that the dogs can do. Wait a minute, let's see if we can try once more, and we'll put the fire out. This conservationist mission has been to go into the country every year to plant a new tree, and he's returned this year to plant his third tree within sight of the other two. Well, we do seem rather to be going round in circles, Mr. No, Goodman. No, no, um, are you sure you can't remember where you planted well, the trees? Well, I, <laughs> I, I thought it was up that path to the right. Yes, I'm sorry about this. I thought I knew exactly where the darn things were, <laughs> but uh, I didn't keep a note of exactly where I planted them, and this time I shall remedy the fact. We could have a try up there. That looks quite familiar. Oh, no, I'm sorry about this. I don't know. There's <laughs> several places we could uh, look around at. But do you think we might have a look at the post, ask at the post office? You didn't ask at the post office? No, no, but I met the gentleman there twice, once in 63 and once in 70, and he All might right. have noticed which way I went. <laughs> How does this look? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. How about just here? So, I'll start digging. It does seem rather extraordinary that you've come, what, 300 miles and you can't find the trees you've planted. Well, yeah, I know. But it's uh, annoying, really, because I've thought of everything else. <laughs> uh, it didn't even occur to me. I thought Blanchon's a small place. First of all, you're not... Oh, that's torn it, hasn't it? Oh, no, I'm going to try the summer. In a recent Mori poll, one of those wax cardboard milk cartons that gave an entire generation wet flies. Na ja gut, wir haben es versuchen. Einmal zuerst bei dieser, bei diesem Verpackungstyp die Laschen aufziehen. Dann kommen hier einmal die Öffnungsanweisungen zum Vorschein. An und für sich ist die Packung perforiert. Es kann aber sein, dass dann das händische Öffnen nicht so leicht möglich ist. Sie sehen es auch hier. Mir gelingt es auch nicht. Dann nimmt man das. Ja, also da steht nichts drauf. Was gibt es? Wir haben sie schon bereit. Da steht nichts drauf. Die meisten Packungen mit den modernen Dekors haben sie also eine Schere. Die schneiden wir jetzt hier einmal auf. Am besten auf der zweiten Seite auch noch. So, machen wir es richtig gut. Dann müssen wir hier die Lasche vorziehen, möglichst einen schönen Schnabel bilden. Also ich hoffe, das ist nicht schön abgeschnitten. Und jetzt werden wir es versuchen. O elevador que não sobe, porque o cara tá conversando com o pé na porta do elevador, assim. Você bota o pé na porta do elevador, entendeu?
wasn't even all right the next day. Well, the leader has been identified as Jean Tournier. How much did they get? A million. Here's the report. <laughs> The parallel bars. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days at the police academy. I used to be quite an athlete, you know. My speciality, the bars. They used to call me. <laughs> and suddenly Brick says, Oh, stop, stop. I got a great idea. Whilst they're sizing each other up, and one's looking like that, and closer's looking like that, and all this sort of business going, the George Raft routine. Someone should break wind, you see. <laughs> and that <laughs> would. Now they'd all. <laughs> so we said, yeah, but um, if, we, if we do that, <laughs> what's going to happen? I mean, how are we going to. Oh, he said, that's all right. I'll say now. Now. <laughs> we, we can do it. We can do it. So that's what started it. And then Blake said, all right, I won't say now. We said, now is the word that's doing it, Blake. Now is, now is causing the trouble. So he said, all right, OK, I'll make a noise. How's that? <laughs> This is a doll. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that is a doll. Yes, I know that, I know that. It's not locked, sir. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> And more laughs next week when Dennis Norden returns to Anglia Screens with his own laughter file. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that again. Don't put 